Port-au-Prince area out to Laogon, about 20 miles out. That whole area was just still devastated. It seemed to us that with the, with the earthquake kind of flattening the infrastructure, it was time to address the, the needs of children, the poverty, most people living on about $2 a day. How can we help their families? In other words, their parents need work. 60 to 70 percent unemployment. Then, of course, the other institution is not just the family, but the family of families, the church. What could we do to strengthen the church in Hayden? It seemed that this Jeremy League of Pastors was inviting us in to do both pastor training and to do economic development training. Welcome to Jeremy. The 2010 earthquake uh, presented an urgent opportunity for the GoTo Network to see the integrated ministries emphasis in action. Uh, GoTo founder Tim Bowl organized two trips that year to Haiti to seek partners uh, both in the business and church communities. We have formed ourselves into a cohort where we are doing learning along with them. And we have a distinctive learning process. It's a process of reading scripture, reading some theology, and then coming together for Socratic discussion. We've been doing that now for a little over a year and a half. The leaders behind me are the leaders of the Federation of the Leagues of Pastors of the Grand Dance region. They represent over 500 churches. They represent over 1,600 pastors. We have spent the last two days with six of these men, kind of the core of the core. Well, now today, today is Friday. We'll spend all day today and all day tomorrow with these 25 men. And often there are some women here. Right now, they're just men. Uh, and we are training them. Now, they have each committed to train 10 other pastors. They're currently averaging training eight other pastors. So there are roughly 25 men here, but they have another 200 pastors in training. Those 200 pastors have also been challenged to train 10 other pastors. We're early in that process. We are hoping they will average six to eight, each one. And so that will mean that we will eventually have almost all of the 1,600 pastors in this federation in training. Pastor Nelson, congratulations. Very good. Thank you so very much. So I want to create the environment that I didn't find for myself because I just figured it out by myself. I wish I could have mentor and people that will, that will say, this is, this is the direction you need to go. So the reason why I'm here, so I think we can provide this kind of a element where they can find you know, tools and the structure, a way to think, to discover and, and pursue what they think they need to pursue. We kind of styled the whole effort to our church as a, uh, children, parents, and pastors. And we were hoping it would help Lake Valley get real one-minded as a church. And we went to the end of 2011, we, did, uh, we decided to sponsor some children through World Vision, because they had helped us get engaged down here and had helped us meet partners down here. And so uh, Lake Valley did a, a, they call it Hope Sunday, and we sponsored 150 Haitian children through Lake Valley in one Sunday. It just brought a lot of focus to Lake Valley. We're a church of six or seven hundred adults, five hundred any given Sunday. And to, to, out of a church of that size to sponsor 150 children, it really brings a lot of cohesiveness to what we were doing in terms of mission, in terms of relief and development. We at GoTo Network have joined hands with Partners Worldwide in their initiative to create 100,000 new jobs in Haiti a country hamstrung by a 70% unemployment rate. Partners Worldwide educates, mentors, resources, and trains business leaders, helping them to not only take their business to the next level, but primarily enabling them to create desperately needed jobs. <laughs> Encouraged by uh, our work in the earthquake-ravaged city of Laogon, Oscar Antoine of Partners Worldwide has been working with Roger Stanage to initiate a new program in the city of Jeremy. I said there was two parts to the training. One is pure business training, and the other is wisdom training. We want them, them to be the able to take what we're going to deliver from the scriptures and understand that that's wisdom for living. That's wisdom for running their businesses. And with the wisdom training, improve your life, relationship with your wife, and your children. So as we discussed it and laid out the plan, they had some great questions, great feedback. 
We kind of described to them how it would work, what kind of training they would receive. Then we closed with a prayer for the businesses, and we feel like it was a really successful meeting. With the ethical aspect of the church, combined with the intentional aspect of encouraging business development, we can be sure that we can have a good workforce and, and, and uh, a, a better country for the next generations. The GoTo Network believes that Jesus' gospel of the kingdom encompasses all aspects of life. It's his island. It doesn't belong to Haiti. It's his. And he is concerned about his people, his creatures that are on it, and he is concerned about the land itself. That's gospel.